Hey, what's up? This is Conrad, GOG Boxing, and yeah, it's been a while. It's been a long time. It's been months. I know. Uh, I got COVIDed and all kinds of problems after it, and uh, so first of all, thank you guys for sticking in, checking in, sending me messages. I really appreciate it, and apologies. I've been gone so long, but hey, I'm coming back. Now, what we're going to do today, I'm going to talk about something simple that I think is going to help you punch stability in your thumb your thumb this is probably this may be something you haven't heard uh, and you can try it and if it works for you great if it doesn't well it works for other people um, but the reason i'm addressing this and uh, in the next episode we'll get back out on the bags and everything i'm gradually getting into shape long recovery but okay but th this is something because i've had some guys write in uh, Piju, I know I owe you from way back. I said I was going to show you some shoulder exercises, but I've had various people write in while I was sick, uh, talking about shoulder problems, elbow problems, wrist problems, all kinds of problems, uh, and wondering, you know, what to do. Now, there are all kinds of rehab exercises. There are exercises to prevent injuries, but there's one, one thing now, I'm going to show you this, and for some of you, it's definitely going to work. For others, I don't know. People, people's body types are different, but I think it, whether the demonstration I show you works for you or not, it's still something I would recommend. Now, a lot of us get into bad habits uh, hitting the bags, really a lot of it. And why does that happen? Well, part of it is because of the modern boxing glove. So if I take a, a, a boxing glove and... What do we see? Now, this is a great boxing glove. This is my, one of my favorites, or it's my favorite right now anyway, the Fairtex uh, BGV-9 Mexican cut. But what does it have? Like, if you buy almost any good boxing glove nowadays, every good boxing glove, you're going to have that attached thumb, right? That thumb's going to be attached. That thumb's attached for a reason. Uh, it's to keep you from poking somebody in the eye, thumbing somebody in the eye during sparring, but it's also to protect your thumb so, you know, you don't break your thumb. Now, in the old days, uh, you know, you had boxing gloves that fight without their thumbs attached. And all, you know, you see these old films, these black and white films of the legends, a lot of, they don't have their thumbs attached. And certainly, when guys were working out with mitts, they didn't have their thumbs attached. And to tell you the truth, I had, you know, some Everlast bag mitts that I used to work out with that I didn't have the thumb attached. And there's like a rival version of bag gloves with no thumb attached. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because because of this attached thumb, which see the thumb's pretty goes pretty straight up. So when you, so it's kind of like it's making your thumb in a fist in, in a fist like that, right? You see, not like that. It's kind of it, you know, because that's just how it's shaped. Now what happens is people start hitting the bags and instead of hitting the bags with a fist, like with a fist, their, their thumb is kind of like this, right? Because it's, it's in this position, right? Now because it's attached doesn't really mean that's what your thumb should be doing, that, that, it, that your thumb should be getting lazy, okay? But when your thumb starts getting lazy in your fist, what, a couple of things happen. One, you don't have, you don't have the, the wrist strength you should have. Um, you start having elbow problems. You start having shoulder problems. I'm going to prove it to you right now. I'm going to show you something. We all know, or you should know, that when you, when you throw a jab, or when you throw a punch, you don't want to flare your elbows, right? You lose power and you also start having elbow problems. You start having shoulder problems, okay? Now, watch this. Just watch this. Now, and go to the mirror and try it yourself, okay? Because for some of you, it's definitely going to work, especially if you've grown up, you lifted weights, you did lots of push-ups, you were playing other sports, football, whatever, and you've got kind of tight shoulders anyway, maybe, you know, tight elbows and stuff. Some of you maybe, you know, people, bodies are all different. Some people don't have any problems with flaring elbows. They just naturally shoot a straight punch. But watch this, okay? Now I'm standing right here. I hope you can see this, but you can still go to the mirror and try it yourself. Now let's say I don't make a fist at all. Okay? I don't make a fist at all. I'm just gonna I just shoot my hand straight, straight at you. But look what happens when I don't make a fist at all. Even if I'm thinking about it, the first thing that happens is my elbow starts flaring up. My you know, I turn my elbow, I can make it straight, but my elbow starts flaring up. You go to the mirror and check it yourself. Okay, now watch this. I make a fist. But I still have my thumb like to the side. Maybe not like that, but it's kind of like that, right? And I start to do it, and you know what happens? My elbow starts flaring up on that again, OK? 
Okay. Now watch what happens when I put my thumb in the right position, and I just make sure when I when I'm when I'm throwing that punch. And my fist doesn't have to be tight yet, but my my thumb is in the right place, and then it, of course it's got my fist has got to get tight at the end of the punch. But what, watch what happens here. You see that? You see how easy that is? How straight that is? I'm not even I'm not even thinking about it. As soon as I put my thumb up like this, my, my elbow starts coming out, and you can say, oh, oh, Conrad, you're, you're making yourself do it. No, I'm not. I'm not. You go get in front of the mirror and you try that. Now, I'll tell you what will happen if you, if you, if you think about, if you get your thumb in the right position, you'll be faster and you'll, bam, you'll be able to hit it and you're not going to have these wrists and elbow problems. It's amazing how they, it will reduce these problems. Just that one thing. Now, here's, you say, well, hold on a minute. If you got a glove and it's keeping your thumb like this, well, you're not going to be able to put your, you know, look, you're not going to be able to get your thumb and put it down on the outside of, you know, that's just not how a boxing glove works. What you do is when your fist is inside the glove, you still, when you, when you press that fist, when you tighten it, you make sure that you're, you're, it's as if you were pressing that thumb down, so you're not doing like that. You're doing like that. So I want to show you my, I'll put my fist in the glove so you can see it here, okay? So, one, it's going to straighten, you're going to have stra straighter punches and you have less problems and you actually have more pop because you're, you're, you'll find after you get used to it that your hands will be loose, but then bam, when you, you'll, you're really going to start feeling some power, but part of it is just because it's going to straighten out your punches. Now, look what happens. If I'm not thinking and I just, and I just do kind of like that and bend it down, I'm still, I still am getting that elbow flare. But as soon as I think, as soon as I, when I do it, I make, and I make sure that I'm flexing that thumb and it's like I'm pulling it down, right? Then it automatically straightens my, my punch, okay? So it's going to be the same thing with the right, right? If I, with my backhand, if I, if I'll get over here so you can see if my backhand's here and I just have my hand straight and I, I look at it, I even just start it and it starts to flare. I, it's even hard for me not to do it even if I try. If I had my thumb like this, same thing. As soon as I put my thumb here, bop, see that? Bop, straighten, it just straightens it out. Now, that may be, the, it may sound crazy, this little thumb thing. Maybe the most valuable thing I've told you on any of these videos because it keeps you from hurting yourself. But I'm gonna, there's another step to it. Same thing though. Now, you guys that have watched my videos, you know that I like a hook with the palm down. I'm not a big fan of hooks like that. If some guys throw them like that, uh, I guess it's more of a Tyson hook. I'm not saying you can't get power. And some guys are just, you know, it depends what your body is, how your body is built, your joints are built. Some guys just like them like that, okay? Uh, when you start, it will feel better like that because you will when you start, when you're throwing with the palm down, your hook with the palm down, you'll, you'll tweak your wrist more. That's why you need to start closer to the bag and, and get used to it. And then you can get further. I mean, I can throw a hook from way out. My wrists are fine, but I've been doing it a long time. So, so be sensible and start slow. But watch this. Now, this is really important because a lot of guys end up with shoulder problems uh, because they're throwing hooks and they're hitting their hooks are hitting all different ways and then they got really bad shoulder problems you get shoulder problems I mean that can be it for you now watch this though same same exercise my hand is flat okay I'm gonna stand stand like my hands flat. I'm just gonna stand like that okay uh, now look what happens if I stand like that and it'll be the same with a lot of you guys especially if you've done a lot of push-ups lift of weights or anything like that you're gonna have tight shoulders anybody who boxes a lot it's hard not to have tight shoulders now look at this, if my hand's flat like that, I mean, and if I let, I keep my, my elbow in this position, uh, I keep my arm up, my, I can't, my, even if I start, it actually is uncomfortable to press down, it's just stuck right here, right? If I, may, if I make a fist but my thumb's still straight, right? Same thing. Now watch what happens, I'll put my hand, and you do it yourself. When I take my thumb and I bend it in a, in, in a fist position right here. So here I am, here's my fist, my thumb's straight, here it is. Now watch what happens, I bend that thumb down, whoop, and it automatically, I've automatically got more, see, here it is, here it is, whoop, I bend it down. I automatically have more, now I'm not saying it's gonna make you freaking double jointed, but why is this important? Well, if you, if you throw a punch, or you do anything in sports, 
when the joint is constricted, it has nowhere to move. There is no leeway. Now, this is different from someone having tight joints in the sense that you're you're not stretched out, you're not flexible, uh, but it's kind of the same because people that are not flexible, they're the ones that get injured. When that joint is too tight, it gets injured. But look what happens here. If, if it's like this, this shoulder is tight. Even if I press down on it, it doesn't feel, it feels uncomfortable, right? Now, so what happens if I, if I make a fist with my thumbs like this, and it's still, yeah, it's still got that tightness. So I throw the hook, right? But maybe I hit it wrong. Where the, the, the power and everything goes through, it's got to go somewhere. Something's going to give, and it may give in your shoulder because there's really nowhere for it to go, right? If, I'm, if I've got no movement at all, right, here's, here's kind of where it is, right, with that thumb straight, straight, and, and I hit something wrong, uh, I could be getting an injury there. That could just be hitting on the bag. Or maybe you're sparring somebody and you throw a hook and ding and you and you and you know there you go. Now look what happens when you throw that hook and you got your thumb down, which means that look here it is. Here's my hand straight. Here's my fist with my thumb straight. Now I just I just bend that thumb and my arms a lot. Look at that. That's how much more loose that is. I mean it's even dropping all the way down here now, right? I'm not warmed up at all. Okay, not warmed up at all. What happens here, if I throw that hook, bam, and I bend my thumb down, if I hit the guy wrong, my shoulder, you see right, see how, how you know, here it is with the thumb straight. It just does not feel good. Here it is with the thumb in the right position, and I'm tucking it. Here it is. So if I hit him wrong, it doesn't, it, that power is not just going to go and blow out my shoulder. Okay? The other thing it does is just like when I, when I do, if I do a jab, bam, or I do a straight punch, bam, uh, turn that heel out, I do a straight punch, bam, um, it's a harder punch. The, the, the power is going right, it's, it's lined up going right to my fist, but on the hook there's actually something else. Because you'll see, for example, Mexican fighters, and they've got that super fast, hard, whipping lead left hook, right? And sometimes, you know, you want, you don't want to always, you want to get in a habit where you can only throw a lead hook by way, you know, something out here. You want to be able to throw, bam, throw these short, short left hooks, right? But still, you'll see, you know, one, two, even Canelo, and he, oh, he'll, he'll loop around, he'll loop around somebody's guard, right? Bam! But he'll, he's got, it's a whipping motion, right? If you have your thumb straight like that, you don't have a whip in motion. It's even just tight even doing it. And if you do and you tweak it, you're, you're asking for injury, right? Whereas when you just tuck that thumb and if you did do a longer hook and got around the guard, it's almost like you have a bowling ball. You say you whip it, bam, you can hit somebody with it. You'll see as you practice on the back, right? So again, look at this. Don't, don't be lazy. Go ahead, press against, press when you, when you hit. Tuck that thumb, feel it pressing in, in your thumb, bing. So it's like pressing in your thumb on the glove. Don't get lazy, so you're just not even, your thumb's just lazy, not doing anything. And bam, shoot those, those make those punches straight. Bam, right? Not like that. Up, ah, see, flared elbow. Flared elbow, bop. Big difference. I'll, I'll even start back here. Well, back here, I start flaring just like that. But I, I tuck my thumb back here. Pop, it just it just straightens it out. Here, here, ah, no, it's stiff, it's stiff. Here, whoop, I got some leeway. Bam, I can hit you and I'm not gonna hurt my arm, okay? So that's my little tip to start off, to come back to these videos, experiment with it, try it. If you haven't done palm down hooks, and I really do believe, for example, if you're somebody, you want to, you want to learn how to throw a combo, pop, 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 you're, the palm down, you're going to be faster with that. You're going to be faster with these combos with the palm down than like this. You, uh, I'm certain of it. And you certainly can do things with the palm down. If somebody bop you right up here, bop, do it. Just pop, get down on where you're like, here, you can't do that. You can't, you can't. If, you're, if, it's like, if that's the only way you're practicing your hooks, you're limiting yourself. But, okay, if this is how you do your hooks, okay, you still want to do that. If, but if you're doing the palm down, right, Make sure you're tucking, you're getting that thumb as part of your fist. You're not forgetting your thumb. You're not forgetting your thumb. But again, start out slow. If you haven't done these, get close to the bag. Get close to the bag. Don't start trying to throw 
long palm down hooks because you will tweak your wrists and I don't want you to get hurt. And if you do get hurt, not my fault. I'm not a doctor. This is boxing. Uh, kind of gym rat boxing. That's what it is. But it's good to see you guys again. We're good to pretend that I see you anyway. Uh, over and out. This is GOG Boxing with Conrad. And I am coming back. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.